What happens to backyard chickens in a cold Montana winter? If you have chickens that like to free range uh, throughout the year, it's going to be important that you plow oh, a path to their coop uh, to clean up the snow and give them a path that they can walk on. Otherwise, uh, they're not going to be able to make it through the deep snow. Uh, you may need to be careful if it's icy so oh. they don't hurt themselves. Uh, when they come out, they're, they've got really large feet, but they're going to be sliding around. And especially like our rooster here, he likes to attack. And so even, oh, you know, against on, his own safety, he's trying to attack, which <laughs> I should get you know, some rooster's crazy. But the hens are much more cautious. And you'll see Chrissy come out here and oh, she starts sliding, but oh, then she no. gets her footing. Uh, Jack, who's our other hen, starts sliding, but then just flies away, which is good because now they're Jack flapping their sliding, wings through the right winter. The uh, normally in the summer, they're going to run around all over the property Very and flap bad. their wings. Uh, but if they can do it in the winter, that's great. We like to give the chickens pumpkins, and this is a great snack in the morning. They eat the seeds, they eat the flesh. Just throw it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to soften it up, and it's really a great snack to start their day. When the weather permits, we let them free range outside. We have a covered area where there is no snow, and this gives them a chance to dust bathe and pretty much just forage around. Uh, they still try to eat as much green as they can from the grass. And then there are some leftover seeds uh, from plants that have gone to seed from last fall. This is Jack, and she's currently laying about five to six eggs a week and she's always hungry and uh, just insatiable. She's the first one to eat when you bring food and she's always out foraging while the others are just trying to stay warm uh, in any covered area or they're just hanging out, not really doing much. We give Jack all of her eggshells uh, that we, we consume the yolks and the whites and then she gets the shells. And then we also give oyster shells for added calcium. It's important that the chickens still have a place that they can scratch around in the dirt and they'll eat the soil, uh, they eat anything they can find, and they also swallow a lot of rocks that go into their crop, which helps them digest their food that they're eating whole. You'll commonly see your chickens tucking one leg up into their down and feathers, and this just helps them keep warm. Uh, this was a particularly cold day. Negative one feels like temperature this morning and air temp was about 11 degrees Fahrenheit. If your chicken has a large comb and waddles, they'll be particularly vulnerable to the cold. So pay close attention to them and make sure they're doing okay. This is whole grain oatmeal with added rosemary, oregano, and grapes. And this is a great snack. Uh, it's a nice warm thing to help them uh, bring their body temperature up and it just gives them something that's an exothermic food so it'll continue to release energy and heat as they're digesting it. When you see your chickens just doing this, maybe it's time to go back in the coop where it's nice and warm. Inside the coop, I provide a variety of different perching surfaces. One is a natural branch off of tree with some of the branches trimmed off of it. And the other two are two by fours, one with natural rope wrapping it. Above them, they have a 200 watt radiant heater that helps them stay warm overnight. And we also have a water heater for their water dish to sit on, which helps keep it liquid when the temperatures drop below freezing. It's going to be a long few months through the winter, but with these techniques, we hope the chickens stay happy and healthy and they're not in danger from the cold. If you have any tips that you'd like to recommend or any questions about anything else, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks for visiting. And this is Janet, Chrissy, and Jack.